What is going on everybody here we are doing and welcome back today to the FIFA 17 Manchester City career mode and today we are on to episode number 8 of the series if you have missed any of the previous instalments I'll leave a link to the series in the top right hand corner of your screen so you can click on that and catch the series from the very beginning as usual lads if you do enjoy this video support on this series has been immense make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new right here today we've got another big three games for you we've got two in the league we're kicking off as you just saw there on that screen against South Hampton at home. We then take on West Brom away from home. Literally two days later. There's one day in between. What is that all about? It's ridiculous. And then after that, we're going to be rounding off the episode with our fourth game in the Champions League group stages where we're looking very, very good after the uh, result in the last episode. But we're going to jump into the Southampton game now. So many of you, by the way, commented saying about signing players in January. We'll look at that when that time comes around. I've had people asking me about Neymar, Royce, Bale. We'll just have to see what's in the covers. We've currently not got too much, but we'll see what we can work with in the January transfer window. But for now, we're going to jump into this game against Southampton. We'll be sticking with this team, which is our very attacking 4-3-3, which really uh, it paid off in the last episode. So we're sticking with that. Hopefully that can do the job. Let's get into the first game, lads. Here we go then, lads. We're at the Etihad Stadium for the game against Southampton. And what's actually got spooky is I'm going to this very fixture this Saturday. Now, this Sunday this game is. This is actually the fixture that's happening this Sunday at the Etihad Stadium in real life, which is like I said, kind of crazy. But um, I'm hopefully going to be vlogging that game. It's been a while since I've gone to a City game. It's got to be honest. I've got to be honest. But um, yeah, hopefully we're going to this one this weekend. Hopefully we can pick up three points in this game. And hopefully we can do the same at the weekend. Still, lads, we are the top scoring team in the league. Only a couple ahead of Liverpool now, but Liverpool have played a game more than us as well. But yeah, we are right now, especially since we changed formation, we are banging in the goals. It's Leroy Sane, he's got plenty of pace in his locker. Come on, yes, that's it. He's burnt past his defender. Leroy Sane, Sterling needs to make a run for me here. Go on, Sterling. We've got it to Sterling. We've got it across again. Can we find one more to knock it around the corner? We can. Come on, this is dragged out a little bit too much. But we've put it in the back of the net, lads. We take the lead. Sweet counter-attack finished off by Ilkay Gundogan. He's coming into the team, of course, to replace the injured Tony Cruz. And he is filling in really well right now. He's done really well whenever he's been called upon this season, to be fair. But I thought we played a pass too many there at one point. But we still pull it away. And we take a 1-0 lead. Need to be careful. Well defended there. Angelino stepping in. Bringing it out now with Ilkay. Elke, got to play that ball. Come on, this should be 2 0. It was far too easy for us to get in here. Sergio Aguero finds himself one on one, and he's not missing that, lads. We have literally hit Southampton on the break twice with deadly, deadly uh, consequences for them. I, I always say it, I always struggle when people stick them behind the ball, the camp, the play for the draw. Like I said at the start of the game, I didn't think Southampton would. And they haven't. They've thrown men forward. They were even at 0 0, and especially at 1 0 towards the committee, even more men forward. And one ball through by Gundogan. Aguero's in, and he's never going to miss that. 2 0. Oh, Raheem, he just does a little ball roll. Absolutely sells the uh, Southampton defender there. Can we cut inside? We can. Can we lay it back? One more across. We're going to pop this from range for 3 0. Oh, what a strike it is. 3 0. Ilkay Gundogan showing that he can certainly do the job when Tony Cruz is absent. That's two goals. And an assist for him in this game. What a match he's having. We're dominating. We did this actually against, I think it was Swansea in the last episode, where we took a really early sort of clear advantage in the game. And then it sort of slowed down in the second half. What this does mean, which is nice. What a strike this is, by the way. Gundogan. What a hit that is. What it does mean is that we can now take three players off at half-time, which I am going to do to rest them, because we've got West Brom in a couple of days' time. But what a start this has been. On legendary, this is absolutely wiping the ball with Southampton. Well, let's not give anything stupid away. Well, across John. Oh, my God, he's finished that. Well, that's 3-1. They've been pressing forward, like I mentioned, when we scored. And they have got a, a goal to uh, reward themselves for that. It's kind of an because I wanted to clean shoot, especially as we were 3-0 up. We were comfortable in the game. But I actually thought John Stones had got across here. But unfortunately, look, he doesn't... I don't know why he doesn't just put his foot through it. But it's 3-1. Took it really, really well. No complaints with the finish at all. It's Juan Fernando Quintero. Must be a new signing for them, I'm assuming. Will make a run for me, please. Nice again. Oh my god, the football is unreal. The football is next level. We're going to get the rebound. It's 4 1. <sighs> We're just pulling, about, just pulling apart Southampton's defence with absolute ease. It's Leroy Sana, the little Afro man. Forgive me, lads. The camera just running out of life there, running out of time halfway through the goal. I was just saying it's, um, it's just so easy. We're just pulling them apart with ease. And just Sana gets the tapping on the rebound. He's done really well to get on the end of it there, I suppose. But 4 1 up. Not even half time yet. This is. Um, 
This is all a bit too easy in this game at the moment. Sterling just a spinning side. I mean, look at the space they're leaving him behind there. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's De Bruyne. That's a penalty. This could be 5-1 before half time. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's unrealistic to a certain extent because the 4-1 down and the amount of bodies they're throwing forward is absolutely just unnecessary. We find the gap in behind. De Bruyne's there. Gets put down by Van Dijk and this should be 5-1. It's David Silver who's stepping up for the penalty. We're going to try and put this top left. We put it to the left, not quite top left, but it's 5-1, not even half time yet. This is just an absolute rout at the Etihad Stadium against Southampton. If it's anything like this on Sunday, I will be a very happy boy. Boy? Man? I don't know. Boy just ended right. 5-1 up. Absolutely cruising here, lads. Yeah, there it is. There's the half time whistle, lads. 5-1 up. Absolutely bordering on the ridiculous here. Just blew them away. They're so open at the back. It's unbelievable. You'll see the stats. We've only had six shots. We have been super clin clinical as well, to be fair. But what this does mean is I'm probably going to attack off Aguero. I'm going to attack off De Bruyne. And probably Sterling as well. And uh, freshen up for the second half. So we've got some fresh legs against uh, West Brom in the next game. So now we're going to try and hit them on the counter-attack again now. And... Again, look just how open they are. It's going to be a 2v1 at the back again with Sarno's pace. It is indeed a 2v1. Nelito fresh off the bench to make it 6. He does make it 6. Absolutely unbelievable counter-attack. Once again, we've not... I think we've had 7 shots with 6 goals. We've been super, super clinical. But I'm saying it again, Southampton is so open to the break. You can see the crowd doing the pause now there. And they will be doing the pause now at 6-1. I can tell you that much now because this has been plain sailing. Nelito off the bench to score his, uh, his, uh, on his appearance. And... What more can I say? 6 1. Uh oh. Sort of lucky. But they've taken the chance. That's kind of frustrating. What a game this is. It's 6 2. An 8 goal thriller. I'm really annoyed that we've conceded 2 goals, to be honest. I'd rather it be like 2 0 than 6 2. Because I know we've scored 6 goals. But value the clean sheet quite highly. They actually got quite lucky the way that came about. It just pinged around a bit. Bravo should be doing better there as well. He, he gets something on it. He gets a really strong toe to it, to be honest. And it just piddles through him. Into the net. It's his arm, isn't it? Not his foot, sorry. But either way, should be doing better there. Bravo, has he done enough there? He's not done enough there. It's 3 for Southampton. 6-3. What a crazy, crazy game. It's been like almost every shot that both teams have had has got in, essentially. 6-3. I'm really good to do it. We conceded three goals, but... I suppose if you can see if you're scoring six, it doesn't matter. It's Jordi Classy who drills it in really nicely, and that's going to be full time as well, pretty much, I think. There it is, then, lads. The full time whistle has been blown. Absolutely ridiculous game. We come away with a 6 3 win, 9 goal thriller. But it wasn't really much of a thriller because we were always in control. It was a kind of ridiculous game, really, but can't complain. Six goals and picking up the three points. It just feels like a very, very strange game. We were able to rest a few of our key players at half time as well, which was nice. We're going to jump forward now to the West Brom game. Also worth noting, David Silva picked up a knock in that second half, so I'm hoping that's nothing too serious. So, lads, we're at our next game now. It's West Brom away from home, and you've got to look at that starting 11 and how many players have changed, and look how strong that still is. It's unbelievable, really, how, how great our squad depth is. We've got Bravo still starting, Klesia comes in, Tara and Otamendi come in, Zabaleta comes in, Fernandinho's coming in, Gundogan and De Bruyne both start again, as does Aguero and Sterling, and Nelito coming in on that left hand side. Very strong team. We've been able to rest a few players as well. Hopefully, we should make this another three points, fingers crossed. Here we go then, lads. We are at the Hawthorns for our second game of today's episode. West Brom, a team that I never particularly fancied to be much of a threat, to be honest. I'm sure I might eat my words now I've said that. The sign of Chadley, obviously, in the summer. He's one of their more dangerous players. But again, I've said this against a couple of the opponents who played this year. When you look at their starting 11 and compare it to ours, there is no way we should be getting anything less than three points from this game. Nelito, going forward to Aguero, got De Bruyne with him, oh look at that runner, he's got to pick him out, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, he's matched me stride for stride, gonna have to go back and recycle, lay that off to the edge, come on, this is a chance, crack that, oh, Fernandinho it was, it wasn't the best effort by any uh, stretch of the imagination, it's a great ball by Jacob, oh my lord, he's found Mr. Matty Phillips, doing a bit of space here, stop the cross, that's Termi as well, crap, great block, they've got a corner, We've started to come into the game a lot more now, but West Brom have still got a threat. De Bruyne, well played. Come on, keep on going. Look at that Aguero run. Look at that. Oh, he switched sides. It's beautiful. Aguero, please, please. Oh, he's absolutely sliced it. That's the best move we put together by a mile. Great, great ball by De Bruyne. Aguero, though, completely slices it. Look at that. Oh, I thought it was going to hit the policeman on the back of the head then. 
That's got to be half time, surely now. There is half time. West Brom lads have caused us far more problems than far more problems than Southampton did. They've really been unlucky not to be ahead. I think we're going to chuck on David Silva for Gundogan at half time. Gundogan, he was fantastic in the last game, but this game he's not really seen the ball at all. So, like I said, we're going to chuck Silva on. Hopefully, he can have a bit of an impact. But other than that, I think we're going to leave it the same. We just need to pull ourselves together. It's crazy that we can go from last game where we're scoring six and like taking all chances to then going out way to West Brom where we've really struggled to get stuff going. David Silva. Bad deflection, but we might still be able to pick out Nolito. Go on, get on the end of that, Nolito. Oh, he does. So lucky. Come on, Nolito. Yes. 1-0 up, and that feels like a goal worth celebrating because this has been a tight game. We get a bit of the rub of the green there to get Nolito through on goal. But we took it, Nolito cuts inside and finishes it very nicely with a nice finesse in the top bins. I mean, last episode he wasn't very clinical but he's hardly had any sniff of the ball in this game and he takes the first chance that comes his way and like I say, that feels like a big goal because it felt like it could have been one of those games that was running away from us at 0-0. But it's a great finish from Nolito and we take a 1-0 lead at the Hawthorns. Ah, oh, no way. Galloway roasts Zabaleta. That's one thing Zabaleta has lost in these uh, past couple of years. That little bit of pace that he had. Now, not that he was ever really quick anyway. Need to be careful here. Only one up, let's not forget. Ooh, bit of confusion at the back. Bravo could have potentially had that. Come on, don't let him equalise. Please don't let them equalise. We've been so much better in the second half. They don't deserve it. Come on, get rid. <gasps> oh, deflected. Could have gone anywhere. Inviting the pressure on. Come on, come on. What a ball that is to the back stick. No way! West Brom have equalised, you could say they deserve it on their first half display but we've been so much better in the second half and really man, they've gone from a cruise against Southampton to a very very tough game here, Bravo again I'm looking at him, I know the players in on goal but it's not far past Bravo is it, come on, come on, Ian Acho's made a great run there, not the best touch but I still think he's going to come out with it, no he's not, no he's not and that's going to be full time I think. Oh god, if they score now, please no. <gasps> no way! I can't believe it! West Brom have come back from 1-0 down to score two in the 89th minute and 90th minute. That is absolutely... Oh my god, talk about bottle jobs. <sighs> you could say they deserve it from the first half performance, but we've been so much better in the second half. Oh my god, we've absolutely thrown this away. Oh my god, it's the last kick of the game as well. That is absolutely unbelievable. We've gone from that 6-2 win, 6-3 whatever it was, against Southampton, where we dominated, it was comfortable, to this game, where West Brom are resolute. I thought it was going to be one of those games until Nolito scored, and it turns out it was one of those games, because we end up losing 2-1. That is a shocking result. So you can see, lads, we played our two Premier League games for today's episode and we're currently sitting in second place after 10 games, two points behind Liverpool after we absolutely just bottled that against West Brom. I still think we've got it in us to win the league. I mean, we're scoring so many goals in them. In, like, I mean, look at the goals there. Goals four for us, it's 25. Next best is 18. That's got to be a massive deal. So hopefully we can just brush that, that last result off our shoulders because the inconsistent Man City have shown themselves once again rather shit hot to put it in politely or like struggling and that was a prime example of that in today's episode but we're going to end it off while my camera battery is timed by simulating this final game against Copenhagen we're in pole position in our Champions League group right now we should beat Copenhagen away and at home we did beat them away I believe if my memory serves me to be correct hopefully we can do the same at home we're going to skip to the end now and we just about grind out to 1-0 win thanks to Kevin De Bruyne but that's going to round up this episode lads if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're near around here and I will speak to you all in the next one lads have a great rest of your evening need you out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids, hey, you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.